I for today's year done. Hopefully a quick and easy one. One more uh, aircraft indicator that has uh, applicable air data computers. Air ATR part number. On well. Uh, always very good stuff. You can see just by the design of the case, it is beautiful. Altitude indicator, serial number removed. So you will notice the screws here are not original. Sadly, uh, I was missing the original screws. And uh, uh, maybe a part inside, I am not sure, but I did find in my stock at least screws with a matching thread. So we have a quite beautiful uh, altitude indicator. So it is not uh, altimeter by itself because the obviously it is remote control by the computer. But you can see beautiful one altitude in fit the uh, offset here. I believe you have to set to 1018 or something like this normally and uh, off flag little light here for uh, caution or something like this and one super super thin needle as you can see so on a well stuff should be pretty good so I am not sure if in here Either it is uh, missing a board or either it is a spot for an other uh, version or option. Because as you can see, we definitely have here an available spot. But I do not uh, see evidence of uh, anything being inserted in here previously. And also this wire loom should be in the way of a circuit board. And I not, do not think they would have left the wire loom pressing on the circuit board like this without securing it in one way or one another. So maybe it is uh, original like this. Inside of the cover is also uh, black anodized, as you can see, or black paint. Not uh, every day. So very nice uh, mechanical stuff, at least on this one. You can see the wall... Uh, group of actuators here and the potentiometers would disconnect here from the main wiring flex circuit going to the back. Ah, it is interesting because the serial number was erased on the case but it is still written inside and you can see we have a 67 so yes uh, obviously it is the same serial number so it will be good for my inventory because I do not like to have things without a serial number so what do we have else in here so a nice wire loom uh, synchro receiver it seems as it is a big gear two feedback potentiometers quite a regular model Burns multi-turn potentiometers maybe in Mexico, nothing special. They did on the right, R1 or R2, or it is someone uh, that did a tinker with this thing, not sure. But you can see it is the same, black. Or maybe even the same writing. So, so we have apparently here a uh, actuator motor that looks like, uh, no, no, it is not a stepper because you have only two wires but plus minus so DC motor of uh, unusual shape that is actuating here your wall mechanism ah, you can ever even go negative altitude quite unusual probably to have negative altitude but it can happen uh, in some spot in the world when the airfield is actually below the sea level, it believe it does exist. So very very nice 
mechanical assembly here. Look at this. The little counter here. Little flag by uh, treated by an electromagnet. And well, nice gears. It seems to be made of aluminium. Backlight probably installed somewhere. Yes, here. Okay, super cool stuff. Uh, another light here. And you will notice the screws are originally uh, Allen screws, but Imperial Allen. And believe me, always a pain to find the matching tool, even if you did purchase an Allen set of wrench. Sometimes you do not find the matching one. So I have a big one here. Let me just uh, probe if I find or not a matching wrench for those screws. Uh, this one is actually too small. If I get the next one, ah, it is metric. This one, Sorry. Swiss side. Excuse me. Excuse me. Imperial. Um, Oh, it is this one, okay. One sixty fourth of an inch. Thank you very much. But here we have another size. Here it is the same size, but here we have something smaller. So probably the zero dot zero fifty one. Yes. So those are always a pain to figure out. Here are the size, size you have. And you cannot mix them with the metric. Those metric ones are uh, quite annoying also by the way where the contraptions. Okay. One thing I can do. I can actually try to power this motor because uh, there is no electronics to damage in this thing. So uh, let me uh, try to connect wire grippers like this, wire clips. They are always annoying this thing because they do not remain in place so well. And yes, definitely it is working. The flag is still actuated. Quite noisy. So your offset will actually be received by this potentiometer here. Oh, you can see they did do black uh, marks here over the, the gear for initial position. And this other one is the feedback for the main uh, indicator. Okay. Oops. It did not remain connected, but quite easy at least. So it should be fun to have it powered on in a display. Really not complicated, just give it a few volts and it will turn. If I apply more power. So I'm not sure if it do uh, all the way around or if it will stop at some point. Let me reverse. Okay, for three, two, whoops, another time. Ah. These things are not fun. 
peu négative. Pour some reason, it will grip on the flag and it, it will activate the flag at the same time. And we can continue to go negative. Yes. But I think it will turn indefinitely like this, in the negative way. Seems what it is doing, yes. Okay. Interesting. Let's try to go again above the ground, please. Didi didi didi. Eventually, maybe, maybe not. Yes, okay. So, you get the idea. Very cool stuff. Beautiful construction, this thing, really. Uh, I was not uh, disappointed, even if I am not sure if it is missing or not. Uh, the circuit board, I, I got this one for 20 euros on the classified website. So, really a good deal because it is obviously beautiful stuff. I found the other ones for sale on eBay, but no anyone with a photo of it opened. So, I cannot tell if we are missing or not something in here. Uh. Maybe, maybe not. Should be requiring to check if some of the tracks here go only to this connector or if everything is routed to the rear connector. And by the way, we do not have a lot of populated contacts in here. Uh, maybe uh, we have two layers. Okay, do we have any dead code on this thing, by the way? Uh, I see a zero 06 here, but yes, it looks like I have a zero 06 dead code also on this. Do I have a light somewhere? No, it's not a light. But this, uh, you can see. So maybe it is not that old. 2006. Wow. Impressive. Uh, really, I am starting to get uh, post, a lot of uh, post 2000 items. Okay. So I will put this back together. At least it was uh, easy. Done. Only two screws. I took more time to find the screws in my stock than I need to take this thing apart. Really. Okay. I do not have a connector cap, but well, this is what it is. Uh, maybe we can. Yes. A confirmation of the code here. 0706 so it is 2006 wow quite impressed here of course i am missing a clamp that goes around to secure it to the cockpit panel but a beautiful display piece for sure so for watching bye bye